Hello world. Hello YouTube. Hello everybody. This is Prepper Princess. This is probably going to be a bit of a rant. Do you guys ever, I mean obviously when you were driving to work and things like that we always start thinking about, God what happened to America? <laughs> and I've been doing this the last few days and it's just, oh gosh, so many rules and regulations and I'm getting so tired of them. And we all know that the government is slowly taking away all of our rights. I mean, if they were to take away all of our rights and put rules and regulations on every single law that there was at the same time, there would be a huge revolution. It just wouldn't happen. And I have all these fears about where America's going to go if things continue to be like this. I think that a lot of us preppers out there um, I think that the prepper movement is slowly, not dying down, but moving to a more I, I want to say more of a peaceful type prepping scenarios like um, homesteading and uh, tiny house living. Of course, HGTV makes this big thing about tiny houses, and I don't really believe with them. Believe in them, I just think you should get a trailer, park it on some land, and it's the same thing as a tiny house, just less insulation. But um, anyway, back to the rules and regulations. It's like okay, you can't fish without a license. Like, we've been fishing for 50,000 years as a species. Why should I need a license to go fishing? You can hunt, but only if you have a license and only during certain times of the year. Um, where I live, you have to call a phone number to verify that it's okay to have a f your fireplace going that day. So, it's if it's a spare the air day, you can't burn a fire. Well, you can burn a fire, but uh, we're going to fine you $250 if you do. Um, no, you can't build onto your house without the requested permits um, and an increase in your property taxes um, and a reassessed value of your home for an additional $1,500. Um, no, you can't um, build a second story on your house. Uh, that's not going to work in your neighborhood. Um, it will be encumbersome to your neighbors. Um, no, you cannot go without medical insurance. We're going, we know that you, we understand that you can't afford medical insurance, but we're going to force it upon you and um, you still won't be able to afford it, but uh, we're just going to make sure that you pay for it. Um, no, you are required to pay uh, taxes uh, on every single bit. You're required to pay taxes on your income, uh, sales tax when you buy things, property tax when you own your home, um, inheritance tax when your uh, loved ones leave you money. Uh, we're going to pay charge you taxes on interest you earn on the money that you've saved. So really, you're not able to get ahead. Um, and... Yeah, sure you can buy property, but you're not allowed to have a home zoning license. So you can have all that land, but you just can't build a house on it. Uh, you know, pretty soon, I mean, how, how long until being um, off-grid is illegal? Um, I think that it's illegal in some areas. In some places you can't collect rainwater, um, or you get a huge fine. Um, God, And I started thinking of the famine of the 1940s in China where... The government said, no, you can't grow a garden, and people just started starving left and right. They, millions of people died. When are they going to start regulating what we can and cannot grow? Of course we can't grow mar marijuana because um, we wouldn't be able to tax you on the marijuana that you grow and distribute. So, um, no, you can't grow that. So, it's um, of course you can buy firearms with a background check first. Um, of course you can buy ammunition as long as you pass the background check. But if you don't pass the background check, you can't have it. Uh, it's it's crazy, all these crazy things that are going on in my head. And it seems like they're veering the... Um, you know, we're not, even, we're not even citizens anymore. We're consumers now. Um, we're not even called citizens. When I was a little kid and I watched the news, they would say citizens. Now they say consumers. And it seems like nobody even noticed that that little tiny change took place. And uh, when it comes to the homesteading movement, um, it's getting harder and harder uh, to do things. Finding a homestead where you want to live is extremely difficult. Me, I've never lived in snow. I would have no idea how to homestead 
in an area that obtains snow. I don't even know how to drive in snow. Um, so, and any of the properties that I've been looking at in um, California, Arizona, Nevada, and Oregon, um, all have, all the land that they have available is, um, you can't build a home. So if I can't build a home, <laughs> how am I supposed to have a homestead? Um, and pretty soon, you know, it's going to be to the point where we're not going to be able to have homesteads anyway. And then I look at the future. You know, that's now. That's what's happening now. And then I look at the future. Um, I'm only 35 years old. Technically, anybody born 1984 and beyond is a millennial, and I was born in 1981. I do uh, have an extremely hard work ethic. I believe I'm somewhat intelligent. I do have a college education. And and the millennials now, they just, they want everything for free. They expect everything for free. Oh, my God. Uh, they don't want to work for it. They want to make $100,000 sitting behind a desk doing nothing. Doing nothing. Reading books or playing on their iPads, their iPods, their iWatches. They're uh, counting their Fitbit steps and uh, playing video games. Searching the internet for shopping on the internet to make sure that they spend their pay paycheck before they even get it. And uh, I know that this is a ramble. I apologize. but And then I look at where the future is going. I see so many people on uh, food stamps, EBT, WIC, um, subsidized housing, Section 8. Uh, you know, they say 50, over 50% 50 of the population now is on some sort of subsidy. And if the government is attempting to get all of these people uh, dependent upon these subsidies... How are we going to, and play, okay, so you're dependent on subsidies, you can't fish, you can't hunt, except unless you pay, you know, $700 for a hunting license and $65 for a fishing license, and if you're already on those subsidies, you can't afford to get the license to go and get things for yourself. So I'm thinking in the future, um, how are we going to be able to homestead if we can't you know, we're over-regulated to grow our own food. We can't um, butcher our own animals. We can't butcher chickens. We can't butcher butcher rabbits because that would be um, against an EPA regulation. Uh, you know, you can't go fishing because there's too much mercury in this water and you can only go at this specific time of year. You can only catch crabs that are this specific size. Um, you can't eat this. Uh, picking up roadkill is illegal. Even if you killed it yourself, you ran into a deer, but you can't have it because that's illegal. Uh... I don't see how people are going to be able to make it. I see in the future, people are just going to be so um, dependent on the system that that's going to be all that they know. And all of those, us, us wannabe homesteaders, us preppers, the people who want to simplify our lives and go back to the olden days, we're just going to have more and more problems as time progresses. And, you know, I don't want to say revolution, but... Something's got to happen. I mean, even a march on Washington at this point I don't think would do much good. When are we going to get in there, you know, and have 20 million people at the White House saying you're fired? They're just going to laugh in our face and say we're going to automatically take it from your paycheck anyway. <laughs> There's, we're, we're beyond fixing anything. It's like our national debt. We're beyond fixing it. We will never be able to fix it. There are not enough people left in the world, in the United States, I should say, left in the United States that want things back to the way that they were. And, um, yes, I'm a lesbian, but I'm also a, a very, um, I don't even know what the word is, a uh, conservative Republican in many aspects. Um, I think that uh, progression is not necessarily improvement. So I think that we need to get back to our old ways. I think a lot more people need to start their own gardens. They need, we just need to try and get back to a simpler life. And isn't that what all of us want? A simpler life. People who are watching channels like mine, um, like J Null Zero, uh, Purity White Cloud, Canadian, even Canadian Prepper, um, Starry Hilder, um, Viking Preparedness, uh, the Prepared Mind. Aren't the aren't we all people? who want to get back to a simpler way of life. I don't know about you, I am sick to death of the hustle and bustle of my city. I am sick to death of the tourists, of the traffic. You know, you drive 500 feet, you hit a red light, you gotta sit there and wait for the light to turn green. You drive 200 feet, you hit another red light. 
and then you hit the next red light and you have to make a left turn and you have to wait for six other people to go because nobody knows how to drive and I am just sick to death of living a lifestyle that, that we as a species were not meant to live. We are not meant to work 40 hours per week for 50 plus years. Um, I was talking to my brother today and he says, I wouldn't know what to do with my life if, uh, if I weren't working. And I'm like, I can't stand my life working. I want to, I want to live on a homestead. I want to just wake up, look at the sunrise, have a hot, nice hot, hot cup of coffee, go for a five mile walk, come back, tend my garden, go to bed and do the same thing the next day. That's just what I want to do. Please God, let me do that. Just let me do it. Ah. <sighs> Um, uh, sorry for my rant. It went on for 11 minutes and I have so many other things that I want to get out about the homesteading and prepping lifestyle, but maybe in another video. Uh, do what you can with what you got. Thanks for listening to my ramble. Prepper Princess out.